Namaste. Hi to everyone. At the 6th Indian World Film Festival 2022. I am the director and producer of Reparation. Firstly, I feel honoured to have the first ever screening of this version of the film play in India, an Indian festival, because it's somewhere I have a big affection for, it's somewhere I've been to on a couple of occasions, and so it means a lot to me. The idea first came up after seeing a location close to my home, which featured a stairwell. Um, I envisaged a story, or part of a story, which could go one way or another. This developed into the narrative of this character being watched by at least one or an, at least one other observer. The drive for making this film was similar to other films or video art that I've created. Basically, the idea and possibility was, was something which had to be seen on screen. When you have an idea, Sometimes you've just got to get it out and get it made. That's not to say it couldn't work in any other form or another form, such as a written piece. It potentially could. The other motivation was that I may not always have access to the location or locations. For the very first scenes we shot, the stairwell and CCTV scenes, it was actually just before the pandemic hit the UK but the good thing was we only needed a, a tiny crew um, but finding an actor can be a challenge uh, on a film at any time. We were fortunate enough to have uh, Tong Wu to come on board. Uh, she prepared so much for the film it was uh, pretty amazing um, but later scenes were delayed due to the pandemic. Being the film's producer, as well as director, and with a small budget, it was tough. This wasn't due to any fees being paid to the crew and the actors, but more that there was simply so much to organise. Um, actors, uh, actresses Hyo Jung Jung and Wu Young La were brilliant, but there were many discussions prior to filming those scenes, not least due to language, translation, delivery of lines, and other script and production decisions. The security office scenes, we managed to film them in very good time, or at least just about managed it in time before we wrapped. However, we had to wear masks, follow social distancing and other measures due to the pandemic. These scenes, incidentally, were filmed around nine months later than the stairwell scenes. Apart from some small changes during post-production and editing, the film and overall narrative remained in line with the script and my original vision. For this version of the film, and therefore with much of the story surrounding the two students in the security office, the target audience was thought to be, it should be Koreans, as well as anyone interested in or passionate about social issues and story, but also anyone who likes an intriguing story. If I had to provide a USP or sort of log line, this would probably be it. Two students, they stumble across the actions of a girl via CCTV, whilst making assumptions as to what she's up to, but all the time juggling this with their important university projects and issues. My plans with regarding this with regards to distribution and promoting this version of reparation are to allow as many people to view the film, learn, to, learn about any relevant messages within it and cultivate a passion for certain subject matters in the film. Film festivals, especially ones in Asia, are ones I'm hoping to market it towards or target to get the vision and word out. The underwritten yet also verbalised themes and issues touched on in this film are perhaps ones not known by every audience member, especially those outside of both Korea and the UK. As I have learnt from this whole reparation experience, there is a fine line between telling a story which may appeal to many 
and one in which hopefully does exactly that whilst including important, timely, political or even preachy messages. But putting whatever your heart feels into the project will produce the film you ultimately make and it will be the best that you can do. These are the words I would pass on to other or emerging filmmakers. So I finally like to thank anyone who sees this film, Reparation, also for taking the time to watch this interview, and also I must give kudos, kudos and best wishes to everyone at the 6th Indian World Film Festival 2022. Thanks for watching. Bye.